All right, America is not Babylon. Number 10, the high heel boot of Italy. Let's read here Revelation chapter 17, verse 1. It says here, And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet collar, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Okay? She is a whore. She is a harlot. Now let's look back at Proverbs chapter 7. Keep your hand there in Revelation 17. Proverbs 7. Revelation chapter 7, or excuse me, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 6. For at the window of my house I looked through, the, through my casement, and behold, among the simple ones I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way of her house. Interesting. Uh, interesting, too, because the uh, Vatican, the harlot there, and she is the mother of harlots, they have houses, houses of worship. But we won't go into that. Uh, verse 9, In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot, and subtle of heart. Is there an attire that a harlot will wear? Yes. Obviously, you know, a woman that's in business selling her body is going to try to advertise as much of it as she can. You know what I mean? She's going to wear as little clothing as she has to, and the clothing that she does wear is going to be very tight to show off her body. She wants to make money. But what are the what is the footwear of a harlot? Modern day harlots. What is it? The high heel. The higher the better. I actually have a sign here I'm going to show you. Prostitution free zone. This was actually a sign on a store in an area, and it says prostitution free zone. And look at the boot. Yeah. But what's uh, interesting is if you take this picture and you superimpose it over the region of Italy. Hmm. Italy looks like a high heel boot just like the prostitution-free zone. Almost identical. I find that to be quite ironic. The Lord makes no qualms about who is Mystery Babylon in Revelation 17. There's not even any debate. I mean, He just makes it just as plain as He can. Even down to the fact of the attire of an harlot, these spike heels nearly all prostitutes wear. You know, I mean, it's it accentuates the calf muscle and up into the uh, gluteus maximus, I'll say it that way. It puts strain on that to make them accentuated. The backs of the legs and on up through, you know what I mean? It's the attire of an harlot. High heels, very, very high heels are the attire of an harlot, I'll tell you that. There's a lot of men that are very, very, that will trigger them into all kinds of lust seeing that high heel boot. And there's one country in the world that resembles a high heel boot. Kind of a funny little joke that the Lord played on people. Isn't that interesting? Anybody comes out and tells you, oh, uh, you know, Babylon is, is America. Babylon is America. Uh, there are so many ways to disprove that, it's ridiculous. Here's just another one. Kind of an interesting one, but it's just another way to prove it. 